Yesterday, some of you came to class, which was fraught with technical difficulties. And um, I had actually come to class, I had this nice talk in my mind about softening in the face of resistance, softening in the face of resistance. And um, the universe didn't understand that I had meant to give that talk to you. I didn't mean that I needed to soften in the moment in face of the resistance of technical difficulties. I don't know why the universe got that message wrong. Anyways, I never gave the talk yesterday because I was so deep in it. My computer crashed three times, the sound wasn't working, it, you know. And so anyways, but it really was this lesson in trying to soften, soften, soften in the moment. And the reason that I wanted to talk about softening in the face of resistance was because I heard some feedback from people who, um, you know, have been really enjoying the practice and then kind of started struggling. And all of a sudden, you know, you kind of get to this barrier, you get to a threshold, and all of a sudden it becomes really challenging to you for whatever reason. Maybe it's your physical body just doesn't feel right. Maybe it's your mind doesn't quite feel right. One woman was sharing with me how um, after having a hip surgery, you know, it's been feeling so great, but then all of a sudden the hips started hurting a little bit because she was doing yoga every day. So, you know, we make a certain level of progress and it's natural then that we meet our resistance. We meet our inner resistance, physical, mental resistance. And then the question becomes, how do we let it go? How do we get past it? And there's a very common tendency, I think, in our society, the way that we deal with resistance is fight it. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to knock it down. I'm going to hit it harder. If it comes at me, I'm going to hit it harder. But that's not the yoga way. The yoga way is to actually try and soften, soften, soften in the face of the resistance. Don't push against it. Don't judge yourself because it's wrong. Don't think that it needs to be destroyed. Don't think that it needs to be eliminated. You just simply need to soften around it, get the guidance that you uh, need in relation to working with your own inner resistance so that you can find your way through it. You know, it's like water will always find a crack. There can be a brick wall, but water is going to find the crack and it's just going to softly flow through the crack. You know, if you try and push down a wall, well, you're going to end up with a broken fist. But if you just let yourself soften and find the cracks, find the way through, that's the way to really deal with your resistance in yoga practice. The last thing that I'll say is one person told me that they came to class in a really busy week. They came on the weekend and they just couldn't get into the groove of it. And she said, I didn't want to leave the class. I wanted to be there. And so I ended up just lying down on my back, just listen, just breathe. And that was what I did. And that's the perfect example of softening in the face of the resistance. There's no right or wrong. You're welcome to do Shavasana for the next hour if that is going to be the most healing thing for you. But to beat yourself up and all that junk, that doesn't help in any way, shape, or form. You know, you know what's going on in your life. You know what you need. So I encourage you to just be soft, 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 soft with yourself, soft in your mind, hands together at your heart, softening in the face of any resistance.